Perfect. Okay, welcome to Sunday Morning Pilates. Happy to have you here. I'd like you to sit on your mat with sit bones touching the mat. If you need to take one leg out in order for that to happen, go ahead. Let's check our alignment. Our ear, shoulder, and hip are in alignment. Our head is over our tailbone. So that means the part of our head that pops out, you know, above the curve is actually standing beyond the back. It's right over our tailbone. But you don't want to push back. You don't want to push forward. You don't want to hang down. So <clears throat> that's what I mean by head over tailbone. Let's inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale down. <clears throat> exhale up, and inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale down, and let's go over to the first side. You want to track your ear and your bicep. You want the bottom arm to be nice and soft. You want to lift, lift, lift up out of that hip so you feel a lot of stretch. Coming out of the hip, the, the cheek is grounded. Do the lats, the serratus interior through the bottom end of the deltoid. All right, grab your ear, keeping that track, take your head across. Make sure you get the bottom of the ear so we can open those scalenes as much as possible. Then you're gonna inhale across, rotate your chest and push your hand to the side, your, shul your shoulders toward the screen. Eyes and head on the floor, don't lift or lower your head. You wanna keep that curve in there. You don't wanna open it or squeeze it. And then from here, we put our hand on our thigh, lift our other hand up around behind our back, rotation, head to shoulders, track, big inhale and exhale, stretch it over. And we'll, let's do two more big twirls, let's say. Inhale and exhale, and inhale and exhale. We're gonna be, we're a spiral staircase. We're spiraling upwards. We're not falling into that lumbar region. Take a big inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it back to center. Roll your shoulders back twice, roll them forward twice. And let's switch sides. So we're gonna take it from the top. So if you have the leg out, take the other leg out. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale down. Last one, exhale up, and inhale. And then we go over to the other side again, track. That bicep, I always have to push back a little bit. The ear and the bicep have a relationship right now. They're pushing through. Pushing that cheek down, get it over. And push through. Nice, breathe into it, make sure you're feeling all the release. So this is something we should hold longer than we usually do because there's so many areas here to release. All right, grab the ear, she says that, and then she moves you on to something else. Grab the bottom of the ear, take the head across, make sure you're tracking, don't let it drop forward. So you get those scalenes up and push that shoulder down because we really want that vertebrae to release. And inhale across and exhaling yourself into rotation. Nice, put your hand on your thigh, bring your other arm up, bring it behind you, inhale, exhale, and hold it right here. Nice, we're in our shoulder socket, we're lifting out of our lumbar region, we're breathing two more times. Inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale the arms out, exhale them together into an inversion. Inhale and open up that back on an exhale. You don't let those shoulders come up to your ears. Release your hands to the side, take your legs out into a big butterfly, supine butterfly. Well, not supine, we're not lying down, but seated butterfly. And we're hinging on this one because I want the whole vertebrae to release forward. So inhale, holding the, the, the ankles, and exhale, just bending forward. So it's a hinge rather than a roll down. Those are the two types of ways that we go down and fold, we either hinge at the hips or we roll, which takes the vertebrae one at a time. So right now we're just focusing on the lump. And your shoulders are down and your elbows are soft. Inhale, exhale back up. Then you're gonna bring those legs together, putting your hands at your sides, rocking side to side to warm up the hips. Good, four and three and two and one. And let's take that really, really good descent to the mat. The one that says, we know what we're doing. Our feet are in front of our knees, right? You don't want them under the knees. You don't want to explode those knees open. Somebody just laid on my mat. Starting with the bottom of your vertebrae, you're curling downward. You want to take a vertebrae by vertebrae. Make sure that you don't let the body collapse down at once too. So you've got to take the control, make sure the shoulders come down before the head. Lift your glutes up, walk them down the mat, shimmy those uh, shoulders up so they get this nice long 
extension through the middle. Put your hand on your belly. Inhale into that hand. Exhale, belly button to spine without pushing the lumbar into the floor. And again, while you do that, let's take those second and third quadrant of our abs up and under the rib cage. So you're going to push them under. They can't go back, right? They can only go up. So big inhale and exhale. And then let's close the rib cage. Big inhale and exhale. So what we're basically doing is we're widening the back area to help support our work with the core. We're going to warm up. Right leg to tabletop. Default to point. Left leg to tabletop. Inhale, sit above chest. Exhale, bring yourself all the way up. If you can't do a curl up, if you can't see between your thighs, then you and you're looking at the ceiling, please put your head down. And that's kind of a roll from here to the rest of the class. Hands are at the side. Touch down. Inhale, up. Inhale and exhale. So I'm starting by warming up your hips. There we go. Down and up. So we are going to do some hip work today. So you'll be happy that they're warm. Good. Now we're going to double time them. So, but make sure you keep it to the table top. The resi resist crossing the, the pelvis, crossing the hip crease, the groin muscle. Four more sets and three and two and one. Hold it right there at tabletop. Keep your legs here if you have back concerns. We're going to go to the hundreds. Take one leg out if you don't, the other leg out. We've got our Pilates stands right here. Make sure you're curled up. Pumping, inhale five, exhale five till we get to 100. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 10. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 20. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 30. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 40. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 50. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 60. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 70. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 80. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 90. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, 100. Leave one leg out, bring the other leg in, put the hand inside the knee and the other hand on the ankle. If you have back concerns, take your leg straight up. If you don't, out to the 45. You're gonna duplicate that on the other side. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Single leg stretch right here. Point that foot. So again, we have a tendency to wanna to stare at our foot, watch the thing that's moving. But what I really want you to do is focus on that curl up. So all the way through, let's make sure we focus on that curl up and not look at the, look at the uh, feet. I have this little blue tag. I have right here on my shelf. That's what I stare at if I look between my thighs. So keep going. <clears throat> Four more. Four and three and two. Last one. Hug your knees and lower everything to the floor. Today's going to be static and dynamic. We're going to move. Uh, we're going to put a lot of movement into a movement, into a position. Now we're going to slow it and hold it. And then we're going to put movement again and then slow it and hold it. We're going to start with the scissors. We haven't done scissors in a minute. I want to remind you that even though we pull the leg in twice, it's not percussive breathing. It's slow breathing. I'll stop talking. Let's go. Right leg tabletop, left leg tabletop, curl yourself up. One leg up, the other leg out. So double pulse. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. Keep going. You've got it. Perfect. No side to side with the upper body. You're just looking right to those thighs. Good. You got four more like this. Four. Good. Three. Keep it nice and pointed. Two. This is your ballet moment. And hold it here on one. Now, what I'd like you to do in this moment, that you have both hands on that leg. The other leg is pointing out nice and long. I want you to sink that belly in. Bring it as deep to your face as possible. And hold it right there. We've got 15 seconds to hold it. Good. Keep breathing. Don't let your eyes go up. Keep yourself in a curl. We've got four, three. We're going back to scissor splits. One. Good. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Keep pulling them. Double pulse. Double pulse. Nice pointed legs. Keep going. Four more. 
and three and two and one, hold it here. Again, same thing, 15 seconds, breathe into it. Good, nice. And we're gonna do this set all over again. Keep that hold, sink that belly in. Three, two, one, let's go. Double pulse, good, perfect, keep going. Get a nice, so even though we're going fast, you wanna get as much extension as you can. So you get to use the arms as part of that um, effort, right? So keep going, four more. And three, I want you to really find that distance, two, and one, hold it right here. Breathe into it. Nice. So while you're in this position, I want you to sink down. I want you to find that distance in your, let's go, let me go again, in your belly. One, good, keep going. This is the last set. Perfect. Good, four more, four, and three, and two, and Hold it here on one. So this is an opportunity to explore the mechanism of the exercise. So while you're here, sink down, really imprint the top of the hips on the floor. Good, and hug your knees, there you go. So that's kind of the pattern we're looking at today. So one of the things I hope that will happen is when you're in that static, that you take an opportunity to examine the mechanism and the nuance of the workout. Put your hands behind your head, we're gonna do crossovers. So right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop, extend one leg out, both legs are pointed, curl yourself up with your hands behind your head. We never lower down, right? We just turn and turn, right? Turn and turn, you stay above the shoulder blades, right? Keep going. One and two, going for 10, three, push through, four. Now I want you to feel the full twist, even though this is fast, six. Good, feel the full twist, seven, eight. It should pull up from the hip through the obliques, nine, and hold it over here on 10. Really explore it, 15 seconds. Nice. Breathe into it. Don't hold your breath, right? Four, three, two, let's go. Go, push through, good. Three, stay lifted, four. Don't let your arms collapse to the center. Seven, eight, nine, hold it here on 10. Lift it up, explore. Now this is where you sink that belly in. This is where you let yourself pull over just a little bit more. So you wanna feel that rotation. Good, four. Three, two, we're doing the whole set over again. One, good, two, perfect, three, good job. Four, five, push it through, six, make those legs dynamic, seven, they are just bending, eight, they're pointing, nine, and hold it here on 10, pull it in. Come on, curl it up, four, Three, two, one, last set, one, and two, and three, and four, push it out, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it here up 10. There we go, lift, nice. Five more seconds, four, Three, two, one, come to center and tabletop. Hug your knees and lower your head. Put your feet down. <sighs> Arms overhead. I have a dog behind me. Okay, so we're gonna do the curl up, the roll up without the stretch. And then we're gonna hold it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a faster roll up. I'm gonna start in the most supported position. I'm gonna take you through it slowly for the first one. And then for the next nine, we're going to, um, sorry, Bruce, you're on my mat. We're going to uh, pick up the pace. So you're going to inhale up. That's your, this is the first part. If you're in the supported position, you're going to take your legs out 
and reach across and inhale and exhale down. All right, so let's do the next nine. Let's pick it up. Inhale, exhale, nine. Good. Inhale, exhale, eight. Reach through. Make sure your shoulder blades are down. We're not reaching to our toes. We're reaching above our toes. So you're keeping that back into your curl. Keep going. All right, I came out of um, supported position into a regular position. So that's just my preference and you can pick your preference. Four more, good, nice. And three, push through, try not to throw your body. And two, so the inhale is important. And then we get to the one, we're gonna hold it there. And one and reach to the top right here. Now, let's pay attention to what's going on. You're feeling an extension behind your legs. You're feeling the Pilates curve in the upper body. You're reaching from the deltoids, which pull through the lats and open up the obliques. You're pulling that belly button to the spine to get more depth and hold it right there. We're gonna do this one more time. Nice. All right, let's go back. All right, inhale up and one, good. Reach past two, right above the feet. Good, three, four, I'm running into my furniture. Good, five, reach, good, six, nice, seven, good. Eight, nine, and reach and hold it. 15 seconds. Good job. Shoulder blades are way down the back, right? Pull that belly button to the spine. All right. Roll yourself to, to a lifted position. Bring yourself over to the side. We're coming right down the mat. All right, for those of you who can't do side planks, let me offer an alternative before we get to the side planks. You put one leg behind the lower leg and you bring yourself up, that's a modified plank. If that is also impossible because of your shoulder or your wrist, you of course can be down on your arm, but also feel free to take it down here and just do lifts and lowers so that you can also uh, enjoy the part of this exercise that is going to be so effective. So that's something for everybody, right? Come on, bring yourselves up. I'd like you to be in a high plank if you can, side plank. Now remember that your feet can be um, stacked or they can be staggered. It's entirely up to you. What we're going to do are hip dips for the first 10. Then we're gonna hold the plank for 15. So let's take ourselves up, hip dip and one. Down and two, three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold it up here for 15. Let's go, breathe into it. Now, one of the things you wanna check are your hand-to-hand -hand alignment. So you want to feel this right under your shoulder, opening like a bird wing, you only have five more seconds to this open arm. All right, bring it all the way down, take a breath, and we'll do a second set. So when you're in our static position, that's one thing to check. To check on the other thing, of course, is are you aligned from toe to head? So you don't want your upper body forward or your lower body forward. Let's do the second set. To get up into our position, that's one, two, three. And if you get tired, just come here, four, good, five. You're gonna feel your pelvis tilt a little bit, six, in this position, seven. So you wanna make sure that you align eight, nine, and 10, hold it here, 15 seconds. Good job. Nice. Keep holding it. 
and lower it down, staying down the mat. Now align yourself so that your head is on your bicep, but it's all one big alignment. You can put your hand up or down, right? To keep your hips to floor to ceiling, lift and lower both legs, pointed feet, two, three, good, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, hold it up here on 10 for 15. Now pull through. What you want to feel is just really, really long, really, really arrow, strong pointed arrow. Good. You're, you want to feel that your neck is in its comfortable curve. Let's do a second set. Okay, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up here on 10 for 15. Good, reach, 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 reach. Feel like you're between two panes of glass. That's a weird um, image, but we don't want you to be too squeezed out. What was that Edgar Allan Poe story where the walls came in on the guy? He was drinking, was that the cask? And bring it down. All right, second set. You're going to come up on your armpit is gonna hollow out. You're going to push, keep those legs pointed and off the floor. You're gonna to push toward the ankle. One, two, eyes ahead, three, four, pull that belly in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it here on 10 for 15 seconds. Hold it, pull that belly in, nice big reach. Reach, reach, reach. Good, five, four, three, two, one, come on back. One, two, three, four, five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it here, pull that belly in. Good job. Nice, seven more seconds. And bring it down. Third position or fourth position. Fourth position on the side. Come on up into your elbow. Take it into a pipe, take your leg forward. You're gonna rotate the top leg so that the knee is to the ceiling. So this stripe that was on the side is now to the back. Okay, make the leg nice and long. The arm is overhead. Lift up out of your torso here. If you need to go all the way down, you can do that too. We're gonna do 20. One, extend, two, and we're gonna hold in both directions. Three, four, good job. Five, push it out. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, good job, six, seven, eight, nine, good, hold it in on 20, just hold it. So now you're feeling the stretch from underneath, you're feeling the contraction over the front, you have this nice pointed leg that's coming right out of the knee. Your crunch toward it, so you get that nice position here. Then we're gonna extend it and hold it for 15 again. Four, three, two, one, extend. So now it's the counter stretch. Make sure that you're not falling into your shoulder. Good, don't let this leg rotate. The knee needs to stay to the ceiling. If you can't extend it the whole way, keep it to a slight bend. We don't want your body to suffer. Four more seconds and we're gonna do this all over again. Okay, one, take it out. Two, good job. Three, perfect. Four, five, 
six, seven, we're going for 20, eight, nine, 10, go, go, 10, nine, eight, nice, seven, six, five, four, good job, you can feel this a little bit in the hip, two, hold it in on one, 15, lift out of your shoulder or go all the way down to your hand, you can lie all the way down on your side if you need to, Four, three, two, let's go. Take it out. 15 seconds. Make sure that knee is still facing the ceiling. So you wanna get a really good rotation so you can feel that hip open up, right? Four, three, two, one. Put that leg down behind the other leg. Soften the front leg. We're gonna lift all the way to the knee. One, good. Two, now you can see, this um, knee is to the front. You can see the white stripe on the side. Five, we're going for 20. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, 10, perfect. Nine, you've got it. Eight, nice. Seven, keep the feet long. Six, but the knee soft. Five, four, good. Three, two, and hold it up here for 15 seconds. Breathe into it. Good. Pull your belly button to your spine. Don't let yourself roll back on your glute. You want to feel contracted right in that inner thigh. Seven more seconds. Lower down the second part of this position, and we're going to repeat them all. Come up onto your hand if you can. If you can't, just repeat what we just did. And we're going to lift and lower for 10 while we lift the inner thigh. So you don't want to be pushing off with your foot. You want to inhale, excuse me, traffic. You want to inhale and then exhale as you go up. Let's go. One, good job. Two, try not to rest all the way down. Three, nice. Four, five, a little soft knee. Six, reach, reach. Seven, again, this might be really difficult for a lot of you, so just come down here, eight and nine, and you wanna hold it up there for 15 seconds at 10. Try to balance yourself into an alignment. So bring that soft knee closer to the leg so we get a little more hip alignment. Good. And bring it all the way down. You can come back onto that elbow or go all the way down. Second part, they're the same thing over again, second version, lift to your knee. And two, now I have a, a post-it on my foot. Three, four, good, five. So one of the things that people do is they rotate their ankle to kind of go to position six before seven, their leg gets there. So make sure you're soft in the ankle, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, good job, four, five, six, seven, nice pointed leg, eight, soft knee, nine, again, you can be lying all the way down, 20, hold it up here for 15, you can be down here, holding it up, right, it's entirely up to you, you want to stay safe, but you also want to get a workout, right, all right, going to the second part, come up onto your hand. Again, that knee is soft. You don't wanna push off the leg, you wanna use your breath. Put your hand in front, that helps with the alignment as you go up. Let's go for 10 only. Two, three, good job. Four, make sure you raise the leg with the body. Five, keep going, six and seven, eight, nine. You've got it and hold it up here for 10. Nice. Try to get that alignment. Good. Six more seconds. And lower it down. Turn yourself around and sit back into child pose. You gotta remember all that on the other side. A lot to remember.
Good job. All right, we have a transition. Some plank. So we're gonna do some plank work. Now you can pick dolphin plank with your arms, bent with your arms underneath your shoulders or long plank like I do. It's up to you. You wanna have your hands under your shoulders, your eyes ahead on the floor, your belly button to the spine, push one leg back, push the other leg back, and we're going to alternate leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're taking them eight in a flex right now, nine, but when we hold them, 10, 10 more. One, we're going to point out the foot that we're holding. Two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, point that leg. Go for 15. Hold it, pull that belly button to the spine. So what you're experiencing here should be a whole torso hold. Now you shouldn't be feeling anything uh, stressing your shoulders or your elbows or your wrists. So if you have your belly button to the spine, lower that foot and raise the other one. If you have your belly button to the spine, if you're really working that core, then the, the supports don't have as much stress on them. Okay, holding the other leg. Good. Good. Five more seconds. And bring yourself back to plank and put your knees down. The second part of this is a push up. Let's go for 20. One, push up. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, keep going. Two, you've got it. So you're exhaling up. Three, you're opening the chest. Four, great alignment. Five, six, seven, eight. You're going to hold it at the bottom. Nine, and hold it down here for 15 seconds. So it's a chaturanga hold, sort of, with, I gotta go this way, with an alignment. So eight more seconds. And then push back into child pose. All right, we're gonna do the plank and the push up one more time. So sit back there, get ready. Remember, we're lifting into a flex. So when we hold it, it's going to be into a point. So hands under the shoulders, eyes ahead on the floor. Open those legs a little bit. Push one leg back. Push the other leg back. Lift and lower. One, two, going for 20. Three, four. So one of the things I find happens by when I'm doing something with my leg six in a plank position is I start to drift back. Seven in my hands, eight are suddenly ahead of my shoulders, nine. 10, so be wary, you wanna keep your chest, 10, nine, eight, between those hands, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it up there on one to the point, 15 seconds. Good, about five more seconds, breathe into it. And switch to the other leg, keep going. Good, hold it. Nice job, 15 seconds, pointed foot. Yeah, I do have a timer, I have to do that. About 10 more seconds, or about, hold it right there. Good, and put the feet down, put the knees down, get ready for your push up, last sec. 20, one, two, Three. Now I audibly four exhale up so you can hear five. How important it is to get that whole line six of head to toe core hold seven. While you're doing this exercise, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good job. Three, eyes, uh, chest between the thighs, or arms two, and hold it here on one. 
Now you want to hold there for 15 seconds. That's five. If you can, that's 10. And it's five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back into child pose while I rearrange my furniture. Okay. We're going on to the other side. So remember, the first thing on this side are those planks. We're having a plank party today. So again, if you can't do the uh, regular plank, you can go to the modified plank and you can choose between long arms and um, bent arm. All right, so here we go. Oops, that was my knee. My knee's trying to be bad. So staggered or stacked, it's up to you. Lower down, good. One two, three, four, five, my knee's not taking this, six, keep going, seven, you got it, eight, nine, and hold it there on 10 for 15 seconds. Good job. Good, you can do this. You're more than halfway there. Three, two, one, and lower it down to your start position. I'm gonna try again. It's straightening out this leg that kills me. That's, that's why I'm having trouble with this. I can't straighten it. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it up here on 10. Good job. That's five seconds. That's 10. And you are out. All right, come on down. We're straight down the mat on your bicep. Legs are together. They're lifted off the floor. Make sure that your head is over your tailbone. So if your arm is going forward at all, you're probably um, moving your head forward. All right, toes are pointed. We're gonna lift and lower for 20. One, two, over oh, 10. Three, we don't get to 20 till later. Four, five, six, seven, eight, you got it. Nine, and hold it up here on 10. 15 seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You can do it. Nice. Eight more seconds. And let's do it again. Lower down. Take a nice deep breath before we start. Let's go. One, inhale up, exhale down. Two, three, exhale. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up here on 10. 15 seconds. Good job. You only have six more. And lower down, all right? We hollow out that underarm and we reach toward the feet. Keep those feet nice and long. One, two, three, four, five. It's almost like a push up under your arm. Six, seven, reach, eight, nine, and hold it right here, 15 seconds. Pull that belly in, make those legs straight, get your head over your tailbone. Don't look down at your feet. They're there, I promise. Five more seconds. Good. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine. And hold it here on 10. Good. Breathe. Now you don't hold your breath when you're holding it, right? You breathe. Halfway there. And lower all the way down. Come on onto your elbow, take yourself back to pike. Here we go to front and turn the leg to the ceiling. The arm is overhead. This is where we do 20. One, push out. Two, reach. Three, four, five. Good. Six. So the exhale's out. Seven. We're going to get long. Eight nine, 10. So 
it's not folding the leg, right? It's bringing the leg in 10, bring the leg in nine, eight, so not folding it, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it here on one for 15. Breathe. And extend it for 15. Now watch, this is where you might roll back. So you wanna keep yourself on your hip, right? And for some of you, I know that means putting a mat under your hip or putting a pad under your hip because this is hard. Also getting this thick mat helps. Let's do it again. One, oh, two, and my leg in the right position. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, 10, nine, good job, eight, a seven, six, five, four, good, three, two, and hold it here on one. Nice, 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 nice. Hold it in, you only have five more. And then extend it for 15. You want to get that nice long feeling. So you want to feel the movement from the top of the fingers through the hips out to that, those toes. Five more seconds. And bring the leg down. Okay, let's make sure we're on our hip. Soft knee, lift and lower the knee to 20. One, two, three, Four, five, good, six, seven, eight. Make sure you keep that uh, angle long. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, good job. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here for 15. Nice, you wanna have you want to have it held without your upper body rotating. So you want to have that big long line across and no rotation in the upper body. All right, let's do it again. One, two, three. Oh, I forgot the second part. We'll do it together. Five, six. You're like, do we get out of the plank? Eight, nine. You know me. Ten more. I might forget. One, two. Three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Hold it up there. Good. You're halfway there. Three, two, one, lower it down. Come on up to your hand. We'll do this two in a row. No break, oh my goodness. Let's go. One, good job. Two, again, you can be all the way down doing what we just did. Four, five, six, seven. Keep it going. If it hurts your wrist, don't do it. Eight, go all the way down. Nine, and hold it up here on 10 for 15. Good. Keep the foot pointed and lower down. Now, you got to understand, first of all, I can't see you. Second of all, there's, there's only wisdom in protecting your body. So don't push through the shoulders and wrists if it's just something that's going to harm you, right? So you can come down and get the same workout, right? So please don't like overtax yourself. I'm all about being challenged, but not being hurt. Let's go. One, two, three, good job. Four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go, hold it here. Good job. 
Okay, you're halfway there. And last five. Lower down, put those legs in front of you and let's do a forward fold. Okay, I don't need this anymore. I can use the clock now. All right, forward fold. Oh, time is moving too fast. Okay. All right, let's get to the end, end of your mat. We're going to do a uh, open leg rocker with a hold. So for those of you who can't do open leg rockers, feel free to put your hand underneath. Sometimes I end up with my hands underneath and it still gives me the same workout, right? For the open leg rocker, we bring our feet up <clears throat> and take them up into an open V. We rock back, one, good, there I go, off to the side. Two, pull your belly in, three, four, nice. Good, five, nice strong legs, six, nice, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it right there for 15. You've got it. Drop your shoulders, eyes ahead, pull your chest through. Five more seconds. Let's do it one more time. One. Keep going. Two. So I want you to feel that this is slow, not really fast. Three, that you're coming back, not getting on your neck, but you're getting to your shoulders. Four. Five. Hold. Six. Seven. Eight. Good, nine and 10. Here's your hold. Last hold on the open leg rock. Good. That's six seconds. <laughs> Pull your belly in and six more. Bring those legs together and lower them down to the mat in front of your knees. You're gonna lower down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. If you have back concerns, you're gonna do the next exercise with one leg up. Let me just show you what the exercise is to start. And then I'll get the people with back concerns or whatever uh, into their position. Okay, so just hang on. So open your legs, you're gonna curl up to your teaser, then lower down to your boat, or canoe, up to teaser, down to canoe, keep going. For those of you who have concerns around here, you're gonna take one leg up and lower down, the other leg up and lower down. Everybody else is still doing boat and teaser, right? You got four more and three and two, I mean canoe and boat and hold it down here for 15 seconds. Pull the belly button to the spine. We're in canoe first. We're doing this four times. And lower all the way down. We're gonna do 10 more, then we're gonna hold it in boat. Then we're gonna do 10 more and hold it canoe, and 10 more and hold in boat, and then you're done. So for those of you for whom this is very, very difficult, you have that option, and the other option you have is having your legs very close together, coming up and holding just in a lift or a lift with your legs up, okay? So let's go back to the teaser. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring yourself up nice and gently. Good. Lower down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it this time in both. So you might want to lift yourself up a little bit to get that position and then push your arms up. Good. So hold it right there. You need to breathe through it. It gets very complicated, the push in through the esophagus. 
So you want to go deep into your belly and not depend on chest breathing, right? So deep into your belly and then lie all the way down. Two more sets. Take a nice deep breath here. Supply yourself. That's why we do such low breathing in yoga and Pilates because the esophagus, if there's any like movement, it could be jammed up in there. Can you move your sticky butt so that you're farting in a different direction? He says no. All right. Let's go back to this. We have two more to go before we stretch. All right. Let's go up. Inhale up. Exhale. Bring yourself up to your teeter. So start there. Boat canoe. Canoe and one. Canoe and two. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Good Seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it in canoe. Now, again, you could be lying all the way down and curling up and getting a lot of that similar stuff right here. Or you can stay in your canoe position where you can have your feet bent and you're curling up toward your feet. We want to protect and bring yourself all the way down. Back. Everybody come all the way down. All right, final set. Going for the boat. Take a nice deep breath here. This is one that really works on your oxygen supply. Inhale, exhale, take yourself up. Oops, to teaser. Canoe and boat. One, lift. Two, good. Keep going. Three, exhale up. Four, five, six. You got it. Seven, you like me coaching? Eight, nine, hold it here on 10 for 15. Good, you can release the arms. Pull that belly in, sink it in, sink it in, sink it in. Breathe, 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 breathe. And lower yourself down, hug your knees to your chest. And drop them away from the screen. Okay. So this started out so easy with the scissor stretches, the side lifts, and we started getting into the plank positions and it started getting more progressive. Just remember, you don't have to do the balance work. You can always lie all the way down. You don't have to do things that tax your shoulders and wrists or even your sides. You can use patty or you can use um, curl over to the side. Or you can use um, props. I want us to start with our folded legs right here. Lift ourselves up. Now let's start with our head. Roll the shoulders back four times because we use those arms, even if we weren't depending on them, we were using them. And then we're gonna do the neck. So grab the ear, take it over to one side, and back to center, and grab the other, kick it over one side, and back to center. You're gonna take one leg out, bring the other leg in, pull up out of your sit bones. The sticky butt's right here, but I'm gonna to have to crawl toward it. So we're gonna curl down this time. Remember I talked about the difference between hinge and a curl. Curling down, so we're gonna pull on these curl, pulling the belly button to the spine, and we're walking it forward. Try to keep the cheeks, on the mat, bend the elbows. Where you should feel the stretch is around the knee, under the knee. The foot should stay to the ceiling. Don't let it drop forward, right, or pop up. You can have your knee bent if that helps you stay on your sit bones. All right, so down here. Then walk it back in. Shrug those shoulders down. I want you to slide the hand out onto the leg and then bend it. Bring the other arm over the ear for a nice long stretch. Breathe into it. Ear and elbow aligned. Don't drop the head. Just have it in this position with the whole folded up, upper body. Both arms up, rotate, and come on down. Good. 
and then bring yourself up and then switch sides. <clears throat> Do the curl down to the front again. Again, you can have this bent a little bit if it helps you stay on your sit bones. Curl down, pulling up under that rib cage. Walk it forward, soft arms to the floor. You may not go far on this. I don't go far on this. Of course, I'm no indication of what you can do. And hold it right there. Breathe into it. Walk it back in. Make sure your shoulders are down. Take this hand out along the leg. Soften the elbow. Bring the other arm overhead and reach. Bring the arm up and rotate and bring it all the way down. Good. Walk yourself back in. Let's take it to open legs. Again, feel free to bend those legs to keep yourself on your sit bones. Drop your shoulder blades and we're going to hinge this time. All right, so now we know the difference between a curl and a hinge. So we're coming down in the hinge. Shoulders are down, elbows are soft on the floor. And hold it up. We're going to Push up into a breath and bring yourself down even more. Push up and bring yourself down. Walk it in. Bounce your feet. Let's turn around into tabletop. Tuck your toes under and bring yourself up into downward facing dog. Push your chest toward your thigh. Push your heels down if you can. Sometimes early in the morning that can't happen, but sometimes after you work out we can. And then walk in. Hang out. Drop those shoulder blades. Often in this position, we kind of let our shoulders go forward, drop them down. And then soften your legs, bring yourself up. And I'm going into washing machine. How about you? Open those legs, turn feet, turn out slightly, and swing it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to Sunday morning Pilates. I'll see you at our next round. Okay, I'll stop.